Dieu va arriver. Welcome to Geo Bike. Hi kids. Good morning. How are you all? Had your breakfast? In the previous video, we have seen the topics calendar magic and more magic. In this video, let us cover the topics the true story of Erki Devi and one day in the life of Kusum. Now, let us get into the topic the true story of Perki Devi. Hey kids, here we have a story of Perki Devi. Let us read. My name is Perki Devi. I live in village in Dunbar district that is in Jharkhand. I never got a chance to go to school. I remember that when I was five years old, I broke my foot. I had climbed a tree to eat the jamun fruit, but the branch broke and I fell down. My foot still hurts in winter. While grazing our goats, we often got busy in playing. Once, at the age of ten years, I got a big scolding. I had lost one goat. At the age of 15 years, I was married. My husband was much older than me. My first daughter was born three years after my marriage. Later, I had three more children when I was 20, 22 and 24 years old. Time passed very fast then. I was busy with my farm, housework and looking after my animals. But at the age of 35 years, my world came to a stop. My husband fell ill and died. His brothers tried to take away our farm. They bit me badly and said I was a witch. Some good people saved me. We fought a case against those who bit me up. At the age of 40 years, I saw a police station for the first time. When I was 45, I learned to read and write. Two years later, I got my eldest daughter married. Now, I am 50 years old. I enjoy playing with my grandchild. Two of my children are studying in school. Children, some things in Perki Devi's life are given here. Now, let us mark these incidents in this timeline. A. Broke her foot. Children, she broke her foot at the age of 5 years. So, the number 5 is here. Let us represent A that is broke her foot. Let us write A. B. Lost one goat. Children, she lost one goat at the age of 10 years. So, we have 10 here. Let us represent with B. That is, lost one goat. C. Got married. Children, she got married at the age of 15 years. Here, we don't have 15. Where do 15 come? In between 10 and 20. So, let us write 15 and represent with the alphabet C. That is, got married. D. Had her fourth child. 
children she had her fourth child at the age of 24 so we don't have 24 let us write 24 and represent d that is had her fourth child e first saw a police station children she first saw a police station at the age of 40 so let us represent e at the number 40 f learn to read and write children at the age of 45 years she learned to read and write so we don't have 45 here let us represent At the age of 45 years, she learned how to read and write. So, let us write F. G. Eldest daughter got married. Children, her eldest daughter got married at the age of 47 years. So, we don't have 47. Let us write. And let us represent the alphabet G, that is, eldest daughter got married. Hey kids, there is a small activity for you. Make your own timeline, ask people around you and mark at least one thing that happened in each year of your life. Make the timelines of people you admire. These can be from among your family, friends, teachers, etc. Now, let us get into the topic One Day in the Life of Kusum. Hey kids! See here. Here are some activities of Kusum and the timings she does the activities. The first activity is Kusum gets up early in the morning. Children, the hour's hand is on 6 and the minute's hand is on 12. Means Kusum gets up early in the morning that is 6 o'clock. Let us write at 6 o'clock in the morning. The next activity is she brings water from the well at 6.30 in the morning. Means children, the hour's hand should be on 6 and the minute's hand also should be on 6. Let us draw the hour's hand and minute's hand. Since hour's hand is smaller than the minute's hand, this is hour's hand. This is minute's hand. Now the time shows 6.30. The next activity is she cleans the house. Children, the hour's hand is on 7 and the minute's hand is on 6. Means she cleans the house in the 7.30. Let us write at 7.30 in the morning.
Let us see the next activity. She goes to school. The next activity is she goes to school. At 8 o'clock in the morning means children the hours hand should be on 8 and the minutes hand should be on 12. Let us draw the hours hand and minutes hand. Hours hand will be short that is on 8 and the minutes hand will be long. That is on 12. So it is now 8 o'clock. The next activity is She is studying in her school. Children, the hours hand is on 10 and minutes hand is on 12. So she is studying at 10 o'clock. Let us write at 10 o'clock in the morning. The next activity is She comes from school. One o'clock in the afternoon. Children, the hours hand should be on one and minutes hand should be on twelve. Let us draw hours hand and minutes hand. Hours hand is short and is on the number one. And minutes hand is long. And is on the number 12. So, now the time is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And the next activity is, She takes lunch with her grandmother and brother. Children, the hours hand is on 2. And the minutes hand is on 12. So, the time is Two o'clock. Let us write at two o'clock in the afternoon. The next activity is, she plays with her friends. 5.30 in the evening. Children, 5.30 means the hours hand should be on 5 and minutes hand should be on 6. Let us draw hours hand and minutes hand. Hours hand is smaller that is, it is on the number 5. And minutes hand is longer. It is on the number 6. Now, the time is 5.30 in the evening. The next activity is, she listens to a story from her grandmother before she goes to sleep. 9 o'clock at night. Children, Nine o'clock means hours hand should be on nine and minutes hand should be on twelve. Children, let us draw hours hand and minutes hand. Hours hand will be short on the number nine and 
the minute's hand will be long that is on the number 12 now the time is 9 o'clock at night hey kids there is a small activity for you prepare a chart showing your own daily routine you are welcome to contact us on telegram to clarify your doubts regarding these topics check out the link in the description thank you for watching please do like share comment and subscribe to geobike geobike